don't. Or do I? I don't know. Is Chris right? Am I pushing him away? Because I want to prove that I'm right, that there's nobody I can lean on. So I might as well push them away before they get too close. We finally have something in common, Mom. Honey, I, I don't mind passing on the color of my eyes to you, you know, or my sense of humor, but I, I don't want to pass on my fear of being left alone. Well, Mom, look at where we are. We're both here in a graveyard talking to the only person that we really feel comfortable with. And Grandma isn't even here. Honey, you can always talk to me. I'm not really sure you want to hear what I have to say, Mom. Well, why don't you try me? Okay. I just... I feel like I keep falling into the same trap. One I guess I set for myself. What trap, honey? What trap? Well, looking back on Sarah and Laura and Frankie, it just seems like the only people I'm attracted to can't really give me what I want. Why do you think that is? I guess like you said. Because they're safe. Because if they don't really let me get close to them, I'll never get hurt, right? You get hurt anyway. Every time somebody says to me that they want me as a friend or that they like me, but not that way, it's just, it's a total dead end. Well, honey, there is nothing wrong with having friends. No. Until you want something more. Something more with Maggie. Oh, honey. In that case, that is a dead end. Really, I think that the best thing you could ever do for yourself and for Maggie is pretend you never met. I did it again. What? Did what? I baited my own trap and I stepped right into it. I should have known that you're the last person in the world that I could talk to about Maggie. And, and why is that? Well, because, Mom, you just don't get it. Uh, excuse me, Bianca, I get a lot more than you think I do. And just so you know, this has nothing to do, nothing at all to do with my not wanting you to be with a girl. And it has everything to do with the fact that you were in love with Maggie's twin sister, Frankie. So what, you think I'm just transferring my feelings from Frankie to Maggie? Isn't it possible? Yeah. Yes, it is. I think it must be very hard for you to see Maggie for who she really is. And that's not fair to her or to you. Not to even mention the unfortunate bloodlines with Vanessa. Oh, Mom, don't freak out or anything. Maggie and I aren't going anywhere. I'm not even sure we can still be friends. Honey, listen to me. Just because... Maggie is not the right one. Doesn't mean there won't be someone else. You just have to keep yourself open to new experiences and not run away. Like you're running away from Chris? Like mother, like daughter, remember? No, honey, I don't want you to, to make my same mistakes. I want you to find the love of your life. I want you to be happy. All right, so you be happy. Okay, show me that it's okay to take a chance on somebody who's willing to take a chance on you. All right. I can do that. I will do that if that will help you. I will take a chance on love. And I will show you that you can be very happy if you meet the right one.
Well, Grandma, I hope you were watching because tonight was the first. Imagine me and Mom sharing the same take on love. I guess we're not so different after all. Because when it comes right down to it, we both want the same thing. Somebody to love, who love us back. And maybe when that happens, we'll do something really bold. Like hold on to it. With all our hearts.